relationship with my father, actually, in this movie, because I thought, you know, he's kind of a hard man. He's definitely somebody who's stubborn and willful, and he's got his guns and his farm, and, you know, a little bit emotionally um, disconnected, I guess, but you could tell he loves his girl, you know, and that she's very much daddy's girl. And, and that was really nice to have that anchor in the movie. Um, when she loses her kid and finds him again, and reconnects with her husband, and all of that happens at the farm or close to the farm, to home, to what is was home. And I think that's very, very powerful. And seeing her father in that moment, I think, is what makes her be able to let her guard down. And you don't see her doing that much in the movie, where she just kind of loses it and, and is able to, um, to feel that intense vulnerability and pain. Otherwise, I think she, you know, she would fall apart if it hadn't been in that moment. Dale's a great character. Um, you know, I've had to, I don't, I don't know if this is what, John, what what Scott Glenn was thinking about when he was playing the part, but I, you know, I, I always assumed that my mom was kind of like the lighter presence in the family um, and that he was much more, the, patri the, the obviously the patriarch, but like a little harsher, a little more brusque and rough, yeah. But then uh, she passes away and I think that softens him up a bit. Um, and I think that, you know, his girl also softens him up, his daughter. But I love that he's just sitting there playing poker at the, end, at the face of the, the end of the world because he believes he, I think he believes there's nothing he can do. He doesn't care, he's lived his life. He's gonna, he's gonna go down with his gun in his hand in his comfort zone where he feels like he's the king of the domain and he's not gonna be running away from some major disaster. You know, a lot of the stuff that I have to do is much more emotional and heart-driven. And, you know, he's great at, like, sussing that out. Rick can, you know, can see, you know, when we get to a scene that is very emotionally um, important that drives the story forward and the connection to the audience, he, you know, he's the first to say, okay, this scene, we really need to hit these moments. This is what it's about, and we'll talk it through. And as you've seen on set, there's not much rehearsing going on. And I kind of love that because uh, the mistakes are in the movie and it's very human and it's very frantic and it's very like, you know, just what it feels like, what it would feel like if you're, if you're actually doing these scenes in the face of a disaster. So, um, you know, as far as the stunts go, I think he's wonderful at that aspect of it. But he's also great at um, just knowing the beats that need to be hit emotionally. I do appreciate the process. I, there have been times where I've been frustrated because I don't know, literally don't know where I should be standing, how to find the lens, where's the camera, how many cameras are on me, what size are we doing, what, you know, there's so much of that that I, ha I have no clue. Um, you know, there are times where I, I do need to know that stuff because it'll be more efficient if I'm able to be on camera <laughs> as opposed to searching for it. Um, but I kind of, I quite like that it's, there isn't a hard mark that we can't, we have the flexibility to, you know, we're working with a kid to check on him, to look down, to be down, then up, then look around, then, you know, something falls, you use it in the scene, you grab it again, you know, it's very, very real, very human, and I really love that as well. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a tough, a tough, tough part for a young actor to play. It's really emotionally driven and most of the time I feel really terrible that we're having to like torture this poor kid into feeling all these horrible things and crying all the time and um, but yeah it's it's a it, I mean, Nathan symbolizes so much for this couple you know the hope where they've been how far they've come um, and it is the ultimate driving force between you know getting these people to safety I mean if you just have two adults who are they're just in a way I think it would appear selfish um, but because there's a kid involved and the future is really his, it symbolizes so much more in the film. Um, and it's, you know, it's become this sort of like a, a part of me. You know, I'm always got, I always have my hand on him. I'm always looking to see what we're doing. Is he safe? What's happening? It gives you this sort of like ultimate purpose in the movie that's really powerful. My thoughts about Jerry. Um, I, you know, I really didn't know what to expect. I've only seen him 
uh, acting. We didn't know each other before this movie, and he's obviously an incredible professional and does what he does really, really well. Um, and I love watching him, like, just running or doing the most mundane stunts and things. He makes everything seem so, um, like, a real person doing them, you know? The other person that I love is Harrison Ford doing that stuff. Like, it, and, and that's a skill, because I, I look terrible doing stuff like that. But um, it's been, it's been, I've learned a lot watching him, the physicality and how he really gets into the, the moments and the roles. Um, and he's just been so much fun. I mean, we have a lot of time to kill uh, sitting in cars. All of our scenes are either running or sitting in a car driving. <laughs> so in between setups, we often sit and just kind of pour our souls out to each other. I know a lot about him and he knows a lot about me because there's a lot of downtime. <laughs>